The month of February has ended and I have a lot of mods to show to you. This month was dominated by smaller scale mods that do a specific thing or change a specific thing. There were some cool new weapon mods too. And also there is a surprise waiting for you at the end. So without further delay, let's start. Let's look at the basic mods first that changes or adds a specific thing. In vanilla FNV, sometimes in VATS, the numbers take too long to appear. VATS lag fix mod fixes this issue. It is one of those must have mods that fixes various bugs in the game. Next is Radiation Visuals by Stentorius, which adds a few effects when you are exposed to radiation like blurry vision or green artifacts in the screen. The intensity of these effects depend upon the amount of radiation. His other mod Sneak Vignette adds a vignette effect while in sneak mode. I really like this effect. It makes me feel like a thief for some reason. I know a lot of people don't like these screen effects, but I find them fresh and welcome after playing so much of the vanilla game. However, his next mod, Simple Night Vision, will please most people. This mod adds toggleable night vision and heat vision in Power Armor Helmet. This mod filled me with ton of Fallout 4 nostalgia. Back when I used to play modded Fallout 4, I played with so many of these mods and it's good to see a well-crafted version of that in FNV. View Model Shading Fix by WallsoGB fixes the broken shading on the weapons. You can just see how better it looks now. It is another one of these must-have mods. Next are a few texture and model replacer mods. Better Fire Barrels by Gru Mod replaces the ugly vanilla fire from the fire barrels with new good-looking ones. It also adds smoke effects which the base game lacked. I hope he also makes a mod changing the fire effects altogether because these new effects are really good. WAPF4 NV44 Magnum replaces the 44 Magnum model with the high quality one from Fallout 4 New Vegas Project. WAP, a light shining in darkness remaster, does the same thing with the unique 45 auto pistol. The detail in both of these mods are just chef's kiss. Classic Sentry Bot Overhaul by Web Productions Entertainment adds the Sentry Bots from Fallout 2 in the Mojave. I personally prefer these over the vanilla ones. However, I wish they added different arm models for the minigun and Gatling Sentry. Classic Adobe Raul's Home Redux is the Redux version of Diagonom's original mod. You already know my opinion on this mod. All of his mods are really detailed, and this mod is no different. If I have to nitpick, then I will say a photograph of Rafaela would have been a nice touch. Next are a few weapon mods. M60E3 Redux by Nady, 2283, is one of the best and most satisfying LMG mods I have ever used in Fallout New Vegas. The model looks great with the bulky ammo, but the main star of the show is the sound. They are just satisfying as hell. Of course, the reload animations are top-notch too. This weapon also has a few modifications and a unique variant. If his previous mod was one of the most satisfying LMG mods, then this is one of the most satisfying rifle mods. Just like the previous mod, the Barrett M82A1 has excellent firing sounds. It feels like lightning is happening with each shot fired. This mod also has modifications like scopes and suppressors and a unique variant. Hit Chris Vector by Hitman 47101 adds a Chris Vector in the Mojave. It is one of the better Chris Vector mods on the Nexus with a custom model, custom animations and sounds. This mod also has a few modifications. NVRA Walther PPK by Anox 1987 adds a pistol inspired by James Bond movies in the game. This gun has three modifications and a unique variant. The gun normally is decent, but you get that spy feel after fully modifying it. A sound cue also plays when equipping the modified version. The golden version is great looking too. And with all that done, the only thing left is the big one. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> Mariposa by Genin32 lets you play as a Nightkin or a Super Mutant. You can fully customize your Super Mutant and being the Chad I am, I created the spectacular Cum Man. There are also UI changes and new NPCs added by this mod. It's just fun to run around being this giant hulking thing. You can't use a lot of human equipment, but new equipment has been added to accommodate for that. This mod is really well made and deserves to be the best mod in this list. Thank you for watching. Subscribe as I cover new and exciting mods, as well as older mods for Fallout New Vegas. 
See you in the next one.